Welcome into Lesson 53. Today we are discussing voice leading seventh chords. As with triads, seventh chords can be voice led following the common tone principle. And if we think back to what that principle is, if we have two chords that are in succession, a tone that is shared between both of them will stay from the first chord to the second chord. So there doesn't have to be any movement in the common tone principle. The notes that are not in common between those two chords will move to the next smallest distance, the next smallest position to get to a note that is within the new chord. All right, so we're gonna go through two examples here. And in our first example, we have an F major seventh chord, and that chord is already voiced. We're starting out in root position, and then we're gonna go to a B flat major seventh. And we're gonna voice lead these two chords uh, with our common tone principle. So we have to know what chords, or sorry, what, we have to know what scale degrees uh, make up that B flat major seventh. So B flat, D, F, and A. And now we can think back to the F, A, C, E of our F major seven. And any chords, excuse me, any tones that are in common, we're just gonna leave in place. So the F and the A are gonna stay. So now we have a C and an E. And let's work our way down. We'll start from the top. So our E, the next closest position, is going to be our D. So that's gonna move down a whole step. And then our, it takes care of that. And then our C is gonna move down another whole step to B flat. Okay, moving along, keeping the common tones between the B flat major seven and our E flat major seven. So again, what chord is that? We have an E flat, a G, a B flat, and a D. Okay, what's in common here? The D and the B flat. Okay, so find those two points, our D and our B flat. So we're gonna use our little arrows, our lines to uh, make sure we know which chords are staying in place from chord to chord. And now we need to have our F and our A move somewhere. So again, let's work our way down. We'll start from the A. So the next closest place for that A is gonna be a G. So it just moves down a whole step. And that F moves down a whole step to E flat. And our final chord in our progression here is gonna be an A flat major seventh. So again, let's take a look at that. A flat, C, E flat, G. What's in common? The E flat and the G. So let's keep those two notes, E flat and the G. So our D is gonna move down a whole step to a C. And our last one, our B flat, is gonna move down to an A flat. So in all of these examples, two notes were in common between chords and the other two voices moved. So we're keeping common tones in place between chords and then moving the remaining voices to the next closest position. And without looking at the bass clef down here, which puts everything in root position, we have our F major seven, and that's gonna be in root position. Now we have a B flat major seven, but the F is in the bass and the F is the fifth scale degree. So that's gonna be in second inversion. E flat major seven, E flat's in the bass. In the, when I say bass, I just mean the lowest sounding pitch in the chord, not actually the bass clef. In our last chord, A flat major seven, the E flat is the lowest sounding pitch in the bass. So that's going to be second inversion. Now one thing to, just to now one thing just to remember or to put somewhere in your in your brain as you're going through this, if we would have started this progression on an F major 7 maybe in first inversion, second inversion or third inversion, 
the subsequent chords would be in different inversions as well. The common tones between each chord would stay the same, but the inversions would look different. So all this stuff compounds on each other. So making sure that A, we know what tones create our type of triads or our seventh chords. How do those inversions work? Remembering the root, the first is in the bass, first inversion, the third is in the bass, second inversion, the fifth is in the bass, third inversion, the seventh is in the bass, and then common tones. So what share, what notes are shared in common between two successive chords.